Hi everyone, Sandra from Scratch the Beauty. It's been a long time. How are you guys? Oh my gosh, let me see if I can get my chat to stop. Hold on one second. Stop scrolling up. No. All right, let me pop it out and see if I can get that, if that'll help me. I have so much stuff around me, it's like, ugh, it's so hard to move. <laughs> oh, hold on a second. Um, one second, pop it out. There we go. Thanks, Dawn. Thanks, Eileen. <laughs> Hi, you love my tweets? That's good, Brenda. <laughs> I thought maybe you guys be sick of it. I was like posting like one after another after another. <laughs> uh, hi, Martha. Hi, Mermaid. <clears throat> Who else? Mm, thank you. Hi, Lane. <laughs> hi, Jenny. So I have a lot to show you. Um, of course, we're not going to do anything. We're not going to work on the book. So we're just going to chat and show and tell tonight. Hi, Scrappy Lady. Thank you. Thanks. Hi, Fran. <laughs> um, so let me put this away. Um, I, have, I have so many boxes. So uh, first, hi, Cindy. <laughs> um, so first, I'm going to show you. <laughs> Dawn and Z, yes, yeah, she has a secret leak. Good. <laughs> yeah, my chat's not moving up now, so thank you very much. <laughs> um, so I'm going to show you first what I, you know, I've got you guys know I went to Prima Art Venture, so I'm going to show you what a little bit I bought at the store because this year they didn't have as much as they did in the in the other as last year. So I'm going to show you that first, and then I'll show you the project, and then I will share my CHA stuff. I didn't bring back a lot of magazines because, of course, my suitcase was heavy as anything. But I know Ash brought a lot of magazines. So when she streams, I know she's going to stream um, the different magazines. So you'll be able to get a lot more um, ideas with product and stuff like that. But I have some to share with you guys. So, of course, there was a Prima Art Venture. And this is some of the stuff that I got at the store. Hi, Bunny. <laughs> Um, so, of course, I got some more of um, Finnebar's um, texture paste. This one's a graphite, and this one's a white sand. So, I really enjoyed doing her class. I love doing her class. So, we're definitely going to do some more mixed media um, stuff. So, that's fun. Um, so, I got that. I'll put these in my drawer. I'm going to put those down. And then, of course, I got some of the new sprays. <laughs> you ought to share that with me, Dawn, that new link. So, let me show you. Oh, and aren't these boxes pretty? Last year they had different ones, but I love the face. Let me see if I can show it to you. It's the other way. I tried to raise my camera up a little bit more this time. But can you see the face there? I don't know, it's hard with the glare. Or aren't these pizza boxes pretty? Hi, Barry. <laughs> Hi, Aunt Maggie. Hi, Amanda. <laughs> so, I did get some of the new, I think there's, I forget how many new sprays, but I only bought a couple just to go with some of the lines. So, this one is, and they package it different now. Now, they package it like this, and then with the stopper and thing, you know, loose, so, which is nice. Um, so, this is the Antique Gold, which I really like. This is what we used in Frank's um, class, so I'll show you that color. And then... This one is Berry Wine. This one is really pretty for, um, what's the color that has a lot of that burgundy in it? One of the lines has a lot of burgundy in it. <coughs> Hi, Patty. <laughs> uh, yeah, right? It's much better that they package that way. They all have a stopper, I mean, a top lid. Let me my scissors. Now, so, um... Yeah, I like the way they package it. It's much better. Plus, it's in these cute little bags. So, if it does happen to spill out, you're protected. <laughs> hey, Jonna! <laughs> you can't see the chat? Oh, but that's good. Say hi to Jonna. <laughs> um, yep. So, and then this one is the Berry Wine. See that color there? 
I should probably put it on autofocus so you guys could see. Hi, JM. Um, let me put it on autofocus so we can get a little bit better. I'll try to move it slow so it doesn't, um, doesn't, here we go. If it bothers you guys, then let me know and then I'll take it off autofocus. But so, this is the berry wine. Let's see if I can get it to focus. There it is. Berry wine. So it's like that purplish color right there. So that's that one. You like that color, Bunny? Yeah, that one's a pretty one. It's kind of like a purplish purple kind of. It has a lot of purple in it. This one is really pretty too. I like this one. This one is called Boysenberry, which is great for the one that um, has the Julie Nutting line that we used. I can't remember what it is from Prima, but it's really nice. Yeah. <laughs> Matches your nail polish, Bunny. <laughs> You're in Dallas. Oh no, flight delay? My girlfriend June, you guys know June, she was she came back, she didn't go to CHA. She left right after Prima Art Venture and she had a three hour delay. She had to deport de um you know, leave the plane and then um wait three hours and she left she left California, I guess it was like right around seven thirty and she didn't get home until twelve thirty. <laughs> yeah, it was a long day. Luckily I I was smooth sailing all the way, so I got home around, probably like around 10 last night. And then with the time difference, I didn't get to go to bed last night till like 3 o'clock. So I got about 4 hours sleep. This one's really pretty. This is a teal. And this one's called Deep Teal. I love the teals. So, um, yeah. <laughs> So for me, it's still like here it's around eight, but it seems like it's five because that's the time in California. So still to get some time to get used to. Thanks, Lane. <laughs> oh, your son went back to college, Janie. Are you missing him? <laughs> and then this one is the mustard yellow. This one's really pretty too. Yeah, the teal is really pretty. Get this out. This one is really pretty for the bedtime stories. It has a lot of that gold in it. Let's see if you can see it there. Hold on. Can you see it? There. This is the yellow mustard. Yeah. Yeah, the bedtime stories. Um, I didn't get that one. June got it. I know she got that line. Um, and of course, I bought um, Finnabar's, a lot of Finnabar's stuff. Um, so this is her new stamp. Hi, Char. So that's her new stamp there. You see that? Come on, focus. There it is. Trust the magic. And then it has some distressing wood planks, a doily. I love the little heart. Come on, there it is. And the gear. So that was one. I bought all the ones that were like um, she was in it, kind of. And if you were on Facebook, you saw me do um, the canvas with her. Come on. There it is. This one's a nice one. This one's very popular with the circles and the words and the music notes. Really pretty. And the butterfly. Yeah. Oh, it's her. Yeah. John, the next time if I go next year and you don't go, you'll have to tell me what ones you want. There it is. Yeah, I like the circles too. They're pretty. There was that. And she had quite a few more. I only bought this one because I love some of the distress stuff for canvases. And then there are little faces in this little doily there. See it? Like a stained glass. That one's really pretty. And of course this one with her in it. So now is the right time. I love taking her class. Her stuff looks so hard, but she takes you step by step. And it's really pretty nice. You love Finn and Par Brenda? Me too. 
yeah so she does she did quite a few of the um, stained glass a lot of them have the hearts uh, now's the right time art is good for you and create create magic yeah they're really pretty and then so those are her big ones I, I don't know how many more she has oh she could see here in the back like I didn't get these this one's never too late this one is dream on I don't remember seeing that one with the butterflies I would have gotten that one dirty walls that one's called <laughs> it's far from cutesy <laughs> it is that's right <laughs> Yeah, I guess that's it. So those were the only ones I guess I didn't get was this. The Never Too Late and Dream On more. So those are the big ones. And she had a whole bunch of little ones too. I didn't, of course I didn't get them all. Couldn't get them all. So let's see. And you girls will be very proud of me. You know how many flowers I have, right? You will send me, okay. Um, these are the only two flowers that I bought. These are the new vellum ones. You see that? Come on. There it is. <sighs> Hi, Annette. How are you? There's Annette. Hi, Lorraine. <laughs> so these are pretty. So pretty good. And they had a lot of pretty flowers. And those were the only ones I bought. So pretty proud of myself for that. Um, then I only bought these little beads. I'll show you those on the canvas. These are the micro beads. It's hard to see with the plastic. There it is. These are clear. Yeah. Yes, I showed restrained. Yeah, where's Gwen? She should be proud of me. <laughs> and then these I really like. These little brown ones. These are the bronze. These are probably my favorite. I love these. Yep. <laughs> that in there and then these are there were quite a lot of these I want to say there was maybe like I don't know 15 maybe of these small little ones so there was that one this is the one that goes with the butterfly um, um, butterfly collection from um, Prima from uh, Jody Lee you remember her other one that one's really pretty do you do with those? What do I do with what? The stamps? Which one, Lorraine? The stamps? Is that what you're asking? Or the microbeads? I'm going to show you. They're on my can on my um, canvas. And then this was another one. So I bought a lot of stamps for more of doing mixed media. So. And hi, Linda. <laughs> my oh, the microbeads. Yeah, I'm going to show you on my canvas what you can do with them. They make a big difference. And this one, the circle ones, are probably my favorite. She had a lot of them with the brush strokes. You can make your own brush strokes, so I just kept those. You still have, so do I. I have quite a few microbeads from the 1990s. <laughs> stick those back in there. And then there's, of course, all the little ones. There was this one. It's like a crackle. Then there's this one. This one's kind of like a snakeskin, kind of, I guess. Another wood green one, just smaller. Then there's this one with the writing. See, it's hard to see the writing. I think I have another one of these. So next week, um, I'm going to do a giveaway. So make sure to leave a comment on my blog tonight. Um... I have to do a post so either tonight or tomorrow and I'll put you in for some giveaways I'll have some giveaways next week it's just too much for me I just couldn't get it all together tonight that one I think that one's an old one I think that one I have kind of just like lines <laughs> and <it. laughs> this one's from the evergreen I wasn't sure if I had this one but if I do then that'll be one that'll give away next week I kind of like this one Kind of the, I don't know if this one's called anything. Crackle, bubbles. Doesn't really have a name. Just little dots. And then this one is from the bedtime stories. 
I didn't buy the bedtime stories, but I thought this would be cute for Halloween. So I bought that one there. Oh, that's good. <laughs> and then the last are the stencils. So I, this one's really pretty. This one looks similar to that, but a little bit smaller roses. I like that one with the daisies. That's okay. Yes, this is all Prima right now I'm showing. Yep, I showed Finnebar's stamp. She'll have to go back to the beginning. And then there's this one. This one's really cute too. Yeah, they're going to have a pre-order section, scrap it, have a do. So if you see anything that you really like, you can go ahead and pre-order, but you don't have to pay, which is nice. You don't pay until it comes in. This one's a really cute one. And as you can see, of course, I wasn't paying attention, so I got two of those. So this one will be a giveaway for next week. And then these are the bigger ones. I only bought, what is it? yeah, these, there are two, four six eight ten of these and I only got three so I like this one mm -hmm. hi dainty diva <laughs> you want this one <laughs> and then I got this one this one's pretty cool like a, the fence you know the wired fence but it's kind of like doubled or something it's different mm -hmm. gonna get messy that yeah, that's okay and I love this one this one kinds me of like um the netting you know like down by the sea so yeah <laughs> oh the duplicate you want that one okay Barry it's yours <laughs> all right so that was all my goodies that I bought and so now I will share with you all the goodies that we got from Prima they did give us this year a big box um not a box we got a bag you get a goodie bag and then um last year they had a lot of new stuff and this year was filled with a lot of flowers so i did get more flowers so i'll probably do a couple of flower giveaways next week um and they did give us a die which you know i already have the doily die so also that'll be a giveaway for next week and then um and all the boxes was all the brand new stuff so let me um start with this first so you guys know i did my little journal and I did keep up with part of it. <laughs> so, let's see what I did here. So, of course, I had to keep my puppies. So, I did my little puppies. And that was with that little um, pocket photo that I have. The LG pocket photo. Yeah, isn't it cute? <laughs> Hi, Marilyn. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Yep. You let, oh, a gap and all the best, <laughs> I don't even have all the best ideas, yeah. And so this was um, my little journal that I did before I left. So, and that was our schedule. And then this was um, a little sleeve I put in here to hold some stuff. And then, oh, my little washi tape. So then I took pictures while I was there. And then I had them sign, um, sign my stuff there. So you can see that's me and Jamie. Jamie there. Oh, come on, focus. There we go. And then this was Alberto. He was from Spain. He was very cute. It was hard for him. Um, he always kept saying, do you like it? Do you like it? <laughs> it was cute. That was Alberto. And then, of course, you guys know Julie. I have to put better tape on here. There's Julie. Julie Nutting there. She hates her picture taken, she says. And this is Carrie. For those of you who um, go to Prima Live, thank you. Um, this is Carrie. She's always in the chat from Prima. There we go. <laughs> and look how cute that my little camera did this little um, coffee cup. It has some cute little things, whatever you want to say. Um... And then this one was Frank. He was the only one I forgot to get um, to sign it. <laughs> so, you know, Frank. There he is. There's Frank. Oh, come on. Focus. There we are. 
Isn't that cute? And a cute little heart. And then this one is Finnabar. So you can see I did the little coffee thing again. Oh, I can't keep it still. Mm -hmm. Come on. Oh, what a pain. Oh, well. That's been a bar. You know what we look like. <laughs> and then it's very hard to see, but I did put some, um, let's see if I can get this to show, texture paste. There, you can see it there. And um, I did use some Lindy spray on here. It's very faint, though. It's like a light pink, light blue. Yeah, a lot of gold foil this season. A lot of this color, this pink and green and black, along with the gold foil. <laughs> and then we ate at the um, Rainforest in downtown Disney. And this picture is really hard to see. I don't know if you could see. I don't know if I can get to focus. There we are. There's Lisa back there, Carol, me, Ash in the back of me, and this is ooh, Carolyn. I think this was Donna, but we called her Carolyn because she took her place. <laughs> so I'll have to show you what um, Lisa had made for us, too. And then this was the, um, I love the seats at the bar. So it was like a giraffe, a zebra. I forget what else they had. So there's Ash. There we go. And then me, of course. And then Carol. And get the focus. Come on. But I love the um, the little stools. It was funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hi, Mitzi. So that was that. And so Lisa had brought um, Carol, Ashley, and myself this little gift. If you're watching, Lisa, hi! <laughs> so, um, she, she's the one, if you remember, she made me the um, stuff out of the French country last year. Uh, Graphic 45, where she did a little designer card, and she gave us some jam. So, she made us this little notebook. Yes, yeah, she made us get us. Yours is coming, Barry! Don't worry, yours is coming! <laughs> um, so, it opens up like this. And um, there's the long notepad. And then there's a the little pocket in here for us to put whatever we want. So, isn't that cute? And it has a magnet to keep it closed. And then she made us these cute little... I forget what size she said this was. And she had cut this here. And then this has another little notepad in here with a little pen. Isn't that cute? She does really nice work, Lisa. So that was cute. I forget what dye this was. I don't remember. If Ash was here, she would know. But I, Ash is still driving home. She's on her way home still. And then she gave us some candy with this cute little... Look how cute the little flowers are. For Valentine's Day. And then we got the cute little pill box with some um, chocolates. <laughs> yeah, she's very thoughtful. She always gives us a little pre present. And then she drove um, Carol to the airport, so that was really nice. So that was that from Lisa. And then, do I have anything else? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Here you know, Carol and Ash, they love their coffee, so... There they are at Starbucks. <laughs> oh, is it, I should have this focused. Focus. There we go. <laughs> they love their Starbucks. And then this was one of the make and takes I did in um, CHA with uh, Jamie Darty. I love this stamp with the hummingbirds. So pretty. Yeah, Lisa makes adorable gifts. She does, Bunny. So was that, and I think, I think that's all. Yep, yep. Well, there was. A little, I was doing some doodling and trying to draw my daughter there. <laughs> uh, she looks a little spooky. <laughs> uh, so, all right. So that's my book. And then I love the back of this book. This is with the Lindy spray. See how pretty that is. That purple and teal. See how shiny it is. 
it's really pretty because I sprayed it with it I forget what the name of this is like a fuchsia and then this was teal and this was like a, a gold peach color so hi everyone anybody I missed hi all right so now I'm going to show you the um all the different classes we did so oh let me get rid of this first this was a project I did it um at CHA this was a free make and take <coughs> and I, I wish I knew what company this was of course I forget <coughs> but everybody was painting on this side so it had a little mirror here and then they were stenciling and adding the straws here and there but um I decided to turn it and do it out like a little shelf and she's going no no you don't paint the inside I said no I want to do it like that and she goes oh my god I never thought about doing the inside because <coughs> remember my little mermaid that we did I wanted to put her in here and put some seaweed and then I had stenciled um love life that's all they had so I'll put in here love the sea life and then I'll add some sand and stuff like that so wasn't that a cute make and take I wish I could remember who it was and they had these cute little um, pinwheels for us to put in there. And the little canvases. So that was a free, uh, cute little... <laughs> yeah, you know, it had to be different. So that's what she said. She says, oh, you're beating to your own drum. <laughs> so that was cute. And I happened to get the last one, so that was really nice. I wish I could remember which one it was. <laughs> yes, I'm always thinking outside the box. You're right, Dainty Diva. <laughs> All right, so now I can put that one away. All right, so the first one I'm going to show you is um, Jamie's Jamie's class. So we're good, it's far enough away. So this we got the bag in class, and then she gave us um, this canvas, Suprema canvas. So it comes, um, you know, just clear, and then we sprayed it. Oh, this backwards. There we go. We sprayed it here, and we added some glitter. Oh no, she's in the Dallas airport. Jenna, both you and Darcy are in the um, Dallas airport? Oh no. So um, so that was nice. It was nice we put the, uh, mix the glitter with the soft gel medium. So you could still see through. So you get to see the pattern. So if you don't mix it, you can see like here on my one seaweed, this one's pretty thick. Like here you look on the camera, it looks like you could see through it, but you really can't. And then these I mixed in these. So what I did was I put the gel first and then sprinkled the glitter to make it thicker. And then with these, I mixed it in with the gel. And so it was more transparent. Yeah, it's really sparkly. Um, the only thing is I wish I wouldn't have put the purple in there. It was, I thought it was pink, but it turned out to be purple. <laughs> but yeah, I think it came out pretty cute. And then we were supposed to have the words create. And then I had forgot that she had given us the word happy. So, of course, what did I do? I stenciled happy <laughs> instead of, like, love or laugh or something like that. So, my bag just says, happy, happy. <laughs> and then, um, Jamie had made these flowers. I mean, she didn't make them, but she kind of designed these flowers. And then we cut out the circles and stitched them. I don't know if you can see that we stitched them. <laughs> yeah, it looks a lot different at top. Yeah, it's a lot thicker because I wanted this to look like seaweed. So, um, so it all depends. If you want the glitter to be able to see the pattern underneath, then you're going to mix it in with the soft gel. But if you want to cover it and get like a full coverage of glitter, then you're going to put this gel medium down first and then sprinkle the um, glitter on there. <laughs> Aw, John is in Dallas, um, Dallas and Annette wants John to come over. <laughs> um, and then this is a pocket. We sewed this so we have a pocket here. And then we um, sprayed and sprayed the canvas. We also, these are new, Jamie's new letters. They're pretty thick, but they are wrapped in yarn. And so then I just um, uh, sprayed them with this Prima spray and then added some glitter. I don't know if you can probably see it. Like I said, my whole bag is glitter. <laughs> and then for the bubbles, I did the same thing. I put the gel medium down first. I don't know if you can see. But this is, it's got silver, kind of silvery glitter here. And then this is more blue and green. It's hard to see, but it makes really cute bubbles. So, and then I added my own seahorse. I have to cut that little loop off. And I added my own starfish. But everything else they gave us. I want to put um, 
my thing moved. Um, and then they gave us these little flowers. So, so this was the class. They gave us the bag. They gave us the stencil, which was nice. They also gave us this stencil. So this is the one I did happy. Like I could have done um, joy or good or lucky. <laughs> but nope, happy, happy. So they gave us that. And then we got another stencil. And then I bought, um, they gave us this in our bag. Our bag really was supposed to have um, the mother girl. So you'll see a lot of bags. And um, Carol was good enough to give her bag to Darcy. And then Ash gave her bag to Jonna. So this is what their, their bag was more like this. They went with the, um, the girl with the mother. It says, I love to create. But see, we were supposed to get the word create, but we got happy. <laughs> So, so Darcy and Jonna both have a bag. And then I was lucky enough to get the mermaid. This is the mermaid um, stamp. And they all come with the same now. The bigger ones. Now that my chat, chat is not moving. Let's see what happened here. Are you guys talking or just watching? <laughs> I can't tell. I don't know if my chat is frozen or not. Um, and then I was lucky enough to get the steampunk girl. So, and this one says she won't settle for ordinary. So, they're very cute. I wish we would have had this out for a Steam Park Soiree. <laughs> but, and then she has some other ones. Oh, let's see. Yeah, here we are. Then this one is already dark here. Oh my gosh, she's got to get this one. This is her one is Katrina from um, the Day of the Dead. You're watching. Okay, good. <laughs> And then this is the one with the uh, hummingbird, which I really like. That's a steampunk girl. And then this is um, Lacey. She has a tattoo on her arm. It looks kind of weird. Like, I'm like, what is she? But she's looking backwards. So this is her back. And then that's her arm. Let's see if I can get closer to you. You can see. Come on. There it is. And that's the mother one. And then, of course, you have seen Quentin, the boy. And then that's the mermaid one. You're watching and drooling. <laughs> so yeah, so that was the steampunk girl. So that was our first, not our first class, but that was one of the classes. So, and I also did the back, but I just did just kind of plain. I had originally put hearts on here and was going to do it with something else. And then I was like, oh, I'm going to do my C theme. So I did. So that's that one. Let's see where I can put this here. I'll trip over myself. Alright, so then this class here, let me see which one this one is. Oh, this is um, Julie Nedden's class, which I have to finish. Uh, the first class never really gets done. I think I think we didn't even get, I got one girl done, but other classes got um, others done, <clears throat> but we didn't. You knew we were coming with that <laughs> the seashell girl. Yeah, that's me. So, <clears throat> this is the new chipboard banner pieces from Prima. So it comes with a, um, almost like a square piece, and then it comes with a diagonal piece. So it has three pieces of the triangle, and then four pieces of the um, rectangle, and then seven pieces of the scallop. Oh, you have a two-hour layover? Ugh. So this is what we did um, for our banner. And this paper is, which one is this? This is the Bella Rouge, the Bella Rouge collection. What? What, Dawn? What, what? <laughs> of course, we didn't do the back. We were lucky enough just to do the front. <laughs> so, and then there's that one. And then another one like this one. This was um, probably my favorite, the one with all the little flowers. That one. And then this was the rectangle one. So she had us do one from one page and one from the other. So we got the border on this side and then the border on that side. I still have to cut my holes and all that stuff. This one is going to take me a long time to finish. <laughs> I hope I finish it. The Bella Rouge, yep. Oh, you need the steampunk girl. <laughs> Oh, you need to see the steampunk girl again? I'll show her at the end because I already pushed her way over. So this was our dolls. This was the doll that we got. This one is called Audrey. It's a lot of 50. Hi, Heather. How are you? <laughs> you love these papers? Oh, my gosh. But look at this. 
Look at the cute little jewelry. The little girls have jewelry now. It actually comes in black. It comes in white. And I think it comes in gold. So it fits right over over the necklace over them. And then they have like little earrings. You can put whatever else you want on there. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh, I love it. Yeah. So so we got that in our bag. We got the we got the doll. Oh, I'm losing my little hat. And then this was our these are you get to put three girls on the banner. So this is as far as I got in the class. Putting the papers on the banner and then just this. And we got to use the colored pencils. We're awesome. Um, the color pencils, you think you need a lot of, um, on there, but you don't. Very little goes a long way. And I'll show you why. Huh. Get this come out. The jewelry is so cute. There we go. So this was the only girl I finished. You see her? I'm turn her sideways, kind of like. And the jewelry, I didn't get a chance to put the jewelry there. But I love how I did her hair. I finally got the hang of it. Of course, that was the third one I did. This was the second one I did. So. There it is. The hair is okay. But see, I put way too much pencil here. Way too much. So you didn't really get the watercolor. You didn't really get to blend it. So if you do get the watercolor pencils... Go very lightly. That's really you only need just a little bit. As you can see, like here, I just put just one line for her skin and then her shoes. Hi, Carol. There's Carol. <laughs> um, I'll show it again, Dawn. Um, yeah. So the jewelry. Oh my gosh, adorable. So then this was the um, dress, which I didn't get a chance to finish. So oh, that's not her. It goes on this one. But see how cute she looks? Only one girl in our class. The girl in back me, she almost had her whole banner done. It was like, oh my gosh. And then this has a little hat that goes on her head like that. We'll see? It goes like that. There it is. <laughs> so that's those girls and her little jewelry. So I have a long way to go. I'll have to spend one day with June and hopefully we can put it out in one day. When I have it done, I'll have to reshow it to you girls. But yeah, I love the jewelry with that. So cute. So cute. <laughs> and then this is all our goodies. So this is in one of the new Prima packs here. So it comes with flowers. So you can see why I didn't need to buy any flowers either. <laughs> and then it comes with the butterflies. Two butterflies. <laughs> and then this is um, some more flowers from that collection and then this one more roses and this is a new pack a new pack you'll see um, with the uh, for this I guess this year's collection all of the collections has feathers now and here's the chipboard. It also comes with some sequins. So that's their new packaging. So no longer do you have to push out the um, chipboard. It's already pushed out for you. So that was pretty pretty neat. Yep, John and Darcy, they have a layover, Carol. She can't chat. She can only watch. She's on her phone. Yep. So that's pretty cool. You don't have to punch that out. And you don't get those little perforated marks now. So yeah. So that's the collection there. So that was that. And then we got little match boxes. We got that. Match this collection. And then an, um, what is this? This was the tags. Cute little matchbook like in there. Yep, but no bumps. Right, Carol? <laughs> and then we got um, the ATC little cards. Let's see if we can see. Let me open this. Scissors. So, I mean, we did really get, like, the whole collection. It was great. Um, 
and then we got some paper to go with it. We didn't get the whole, in this collection, we did not get the whole pad. We, we did get a lot of paper, though. So, and then these are the little ATC cards. Yeah. like that one that one's a pretty one too I like this paper line too the blue with the green so and then here are the um, crystals they're different they have like little diamond crystals all around and then these were the brags that went with them and then we also got um, the wood pieces See it there? Come on, focus. Ugh. There it is. Nope. True beauty. If I could keep still long enough. <laughs> so that was that class. And then we got the um, twine to um, string up our banner. So that was quite a bit. I just wish we would have gotten a little bit further on it than we did. That's that. The year of the bling, the year of the bling, and gold foil, Heather. <laughs> gold foil was everywhere. All right, so that's one. So that was our second class. Actually, it was our first, but that's the second. You get six classes for the Prima Art Venture. So. plug you guys in first running out battery where if I can't find it Now this class is, um, this was Trini's class, and I don't know her last name. She was from New Zealand, and she did layouts. And unfortunately for me, I had run a little sleep, so I really didn't do much in this class. I kind of left early. I wasn't feeling good, so I only have partial of my layouts done. But this is one of them. And then she had another piece that went on top of here, but I really like this, the way the Paris and the, I didn't want to cover that up. So I probably will put my picture, I might put like two pictures, maybe one in here and one here, where you could still see, um, still see the, um, the artwork. Okay, bye, John, bye, Darcy. She's getting ready to board. Have a safe flight. <laughs> And Jana, too, they're the Scrappy Camper Sisters, if anybody's here who doesn't know. And they also use streamed too. <laughs> Bye. Um, so you can go to their use stream and see all of that they um, streamed. As well as on Scrappy Dabba Do Crafts, we streamed. Um, so that was fun, too. So then this one, whoops, doesn't like that paper. <laughs> there we go. This one, we um, punched the edges, and Ash was so funny because she, um, Trini had said to us, punch the edges but close your eyes because she really wanted to look distressed. So um, we did. I just, like, punched it in willy-nilly, and that's why you'll see it. It's all like that. And Ash was like, I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> but I think she finally did. So. So that's why you can see it's all like not perfect. She didn't want it perfect. She wanted it distressed. And then this was um, the gel medium we used. This was, I think it was called the white sand. So it's kind of bumpy like that. 
Thanks, Jenny. So Jenny posted it. If you go to Ustream and go to Scrap a Debadoo Crafts, you'll be able to see all the new stuff from CHA also. Yeah, we were so excited to do it. It was so early in the morning that we forgot to... Sorry, Barry. We forgot to um, to ch tell Barry. Um, but we were like uh, running around like crazy people. The first day it was like so crazy. So many people. And there was so much to see. Oops. So then this one, um, I did quite a bit of this one. So she had us put um, beads on here. So these are the um, tiny beads. And we got those in our, our bag. And then um, I'm going to put the four of us here. It'll be Ash, um, June, and Carol, and myself in this here. And I'll probably write something from Art Venture. Yeah, we're sorry. We didn't tell Barry when she was streaming. Mm -hmm. So, um, kind of was last minute and spur of the moment. So, we're sorry, Barry. <laughs> but we missed her. We missed her a lot. So, and next year, CHA is quite as early. It's even earlier, a day earlier, which is sad because that's Barry's busiest time in her other business. And so, we're hoping maybe she can swing it so she'll be able to go next year. So, this was some of the paper from there. That's that, the pink side. Let's show you some of the paper really quick. This one has the roses. This is a paper I really love with all the butterfly girls. Every CHA. <laughs> Eileen says every stream she saw me there. <laughs> oh my gosh, my legs hurt me so bad. Did you see me walking with the cane? Thank goodness for Ash who had the cane in her car. I love this one right here. So I did have to walk around. I was kind of slow, slowing them down a little bit. <laughs> and I love that one. That one's really pretty. So that's that collection. So we got this paper to do the three layouts. And then, um, oh, here's the beads that we use. These are the glass beads, the butter ones. There we go. You saw Jim and Caesar? Yep, Jim and Caesar was also too. They were there. That was so much fun. We went down to downtown Disney and we got the 6x6 six six pad, which is really nice. Oh, and yeah, so here you can see the paper a little bit better. Yep, they're over there in Jonna's stream too. Yeah, they're all over the place. <laughs> Those guys are so much fun. So that's a 6x6 six six pad. And then these are something new for Prima, though I'm a little confused about it myself because it's really not, I don't think it is the whole alphabet, is it? Oh yeah, it is. One of these, they don't have the whole alphabet. I guess it's just for words. So they only give you like, I think mean, there's only like five little pieces in here. So they really should offer like another, you know, some more extras if you wanted to do these, so... Donna made Jim hold the camera. <laughs> Why she did a make and take. Oh my gosh, that must have been funny. And then look how cute Carol went crazy over these little jars with the fairy in it. Come on. Oh, for goodness sakes. Night Lane. Oh, you got to go out. Okay. Watch the recording. Don't forget to go to my blog and leave a comment for next week's prizes. There we go. Isn't that cute, the little fairy and the little heart and the butterflies? So we got one of these and I didn't know. And I'll, so I'll have this as a giveaway too next week. So I got two of those and then I got two of these with the little fairy girl. And the teacups, so cute. <clears throat> yeah, I love these too, Carol. These are cute, cute, cute. So we got that. <clears throat> and again, the um, Prima pack with the butterflies and we got the big flowers. Um, we did get some pop dots from them. And these cute little um, Satan crystals, but they're more like um, roses. Different Satan crystals. And these are the bigger roses. This is good for the outside of a mini album. I wouldn't put that on a layout. 
that. And again, they came with brads also. The whole collection always comes with brads. <coughs> and then uh, matchboxes. They almost, I think every collection came with matchboxes. You can see that. And then again with um, the feathers, chipboard and more. So there you can see the butterfly ladies. Oh, well, there it goes. I thought I had it. Ugh. Anyway, so then that's with the feathers and then the chipboard again that you don't have to um, punch out. It's already punched out for you. So, and then they did give us um, a stencil and then more paper. So, so that's that class. Oops. So you can see you do get quite a bit. I mean, every bit of it is all brand new, which is so nice. I mean, if you get to ever ch chance to go to Prima Art Venture, um, I think it's well worth it. Um, last year, I think they said they had 140 people attend and this year they had 150 so so that's that class <coughs> that in there so we have three more and then i still have all the cha stuff to show you so <laughs> this was probably my favorite class and this was Finnebar's class. So we got the Resist Canvas. So you can see this was a stripe. I thought they gave us another paper, another one, but I don't know. I can't seem to find it. And then we got flowers. And we got some metal pieces. I had also brought some metal pieces of my own. So we got that. Um, flowers, the metal flowers. And some frames. And they gave us more flowers to put on our, um, I think they gave us this too, which I already have one of, so I'll also give that away next week. Ah, oh, this is your cup of tea, Eileen? <laughs> and then these are the new elementals, which is all canvas that was cut out in different, um, designs. And so what we had to do when they come out on this, <clears throat> and she made us use the whole sheet course I didn't use them all I left that little bitty piece but um let me put that away so I can show you what, what it looks like and this is where the um the little beads and stuff come in the little micro beads and I'll have to show you them better so this was my um my um canvas I guess so what we did was we put this down first and then we sprayed the background and then she made us tear all those pieces. She gave us lace and then uh, you love mixed media. I do too. I'm starting to really like it. Um, and then we had to pile it all on. So we made like kind of like a, like a little hill, I would say. And it seems a shame. The only thing I don't like about mixed media is you cover up so much of your like work. Oh, thank you. And um, I know it's all because, you know, you have to add it all in and stuff. But oh, it, underneath looks so nice before you piled it up. And then, like, you covered up the whole center. So, <laughs> yeah, Carol, Carol's came out nice. So did Ashes. It's the first time they do it. And, and I think they came out. I think they all came out great. So then what we did was, um, after we put the lace and stuff, we sprayed it. And then you added all your embellishments. So I had, this was my own. I brought that and I brought my little clockworks and I brought my dragonfly. And then I brought the word art so that you could see. So you could see it here. Let's see if I can get a little bit closer so you can see. So you see there's the little micro beads. Oh, I'm not going to be able to keep my hands still. Hold on. Sorry, making you dizzy. So let's see. I have to put punch something dark. Let's see. If, there we go. So you can see here, these are all the light blue, those little light blue. Thanks, Dawn. Um, oh, I need something dark. Oh, let me see if I can get one of these paintbrushes. So let me see if I could show you those little micro beads. Come on. Oh my gosh, there we go. 
So you see those are clear. Those kinds are like kind of clear. And then mm -hmm. these are the dar darker ones here. Love the paintbrush? Yeah, I like the paintbrush too. And then we added our flowers. And then we added um, some of the essentials here. Come on, focus. There it is. So you can see I put all the little crystals inside the little pan here, like here. And all along here. And then there's another little metal flower. And then there's some more of those other microbeads. And this is one of those. I added the little clock underneath the gear. And then I added the spinning gear. And then I added the little handles. Come on. Oh, pain. <laughs> yeah, that's what's nice about the mixed media is you see all that. There we go. All that dimension. So you can't keep my hand still. So then you can see all the canvas. And then I had cut out three hearts, which you can't see the other two hearts. You can see this one there, but... Um, Oh, there we go. Yeah, the layers, all the layers, I know. But sometimes I'm just like, oh, it looks so good with all the layers covered now. And then this is the one towards the bottom where I added some buttons, um, some more of the little crystal beads, more of the darker beads. Come on. And then I added my dragonfly. Oh, my gosh. Well, you guys could see it now, kind of. Come on. There we go. So the brown bead, bead the brown bleeds. The only thing I don't like about my canvas is this one little piece right here. <laughs> I mean, I used every junk piece, but I don't, I, I don't like that piece right there. I wish I could just rip it off. <laughs> But yeah, so that's my, um, so I want to get a nice frame for it. And then um, we used some of her um, numbers like we did for the steampunk soiree. And then um, these are some of her essentials. And then these are just paper flowers in here. So, and then again, these are just beads and buttons. Um, and, but then at the end, glossy accents, yeah. Oh, you can use little glossy accents here. We put them on with this soft gel medium. Yeah. They're different than Project Life. <laughs> yeah. And then, um, then afterwards we went over with the, um, I guess it's kind of like um, pearl. Do you remember, Carol, what it's called? I can't remember. You know, it's like the little dust and you go over it and that's what gives it the shine at the end. But yeah, this was one of my favorite, um, favorite classes, I have to say. It doesn't work if you don't have clear gel medium. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's just got to be, we did work with all, so we wound up putting the clear gel medium on there and then also, um, using it as a glue. We used it both ways. So... Yeah, I don't remember it either. You know, Dawn, it's, uh, it's kind of like, um... Oh, the powder that looks shiny. What am I thinking of? You know, Ranger has it, but if they call it Pearlax. Thank you, Bunny. Yeah, <laughs> Pearlax. So she had it in all colors. I used like a copper and a blue and like a green, like a teal green it was. So you could see on the letter A for art. Let's see if I can get it to show up. Yeah, you can see it's like coppery and blue and green. Oh, I wish I could keep it still. Come on. Ah, there it is. So you can see it just adds the shine. It's really, really nice. Oh, hi, Stardust. <laughs> you can finally see the chat. That's good. <laughs> yeah. So, so I really like that. I mean, I think it really came out came out good. A lot of, everybody's came out really good. I mean, you couldn't go wrong. She had you spray it step by step. I mean, it looks just, hers looks amazing too, so. Hi, Darcy! There's Darcy! <laughs> yeah, the Stardust. Yeah, the sprinkle it was there. Yeah, it was weird. You can? Good, Stardust. Good. Um... 
You just got in the door? Good. We were just talking to Jonna. She just um, got on the plane. She had a two-hour delay in, um, in Dallas, so she's on her way. So that was um, my project there for, um, for Finnebar's class. So definitely like to do some more of that. I, I know I would like to do some more of that. So um, we will be doing some more canvases for sure. Yeah. Oh, I didn't get to show Darcy, so let me just show her. She just got on. So this was my canvas here with the paintbrush. And then I put the word art here and made the little clock and put the little dragonfly. So. Oh, you were hoping someone said that to me. <laughs> yeah, she couldn't chat, but she could see us. So that was good. Thank you, Darcy. And we were just telling them how Carol gave you um, your, your bag and Jonna got her bag. So it was nice. Really nice. Hi, Mugana. <laughs> so two more. So let's see what we got left here. This one here on the bottom. See, this one's a heavy one. I don't know which one this one is. Oh yeah, this was Alberto's class. So I didn't really get to finish Alberto's. We did get to um, do the little box, but um, <laughs> yep. So. Yeah, I showed the My Mermaid bag. I'm going to show it at the end, too, because um, Dawn wants to see the Steampunk Girl. So if you're still here, I'll sh you'll see my bag. So this was Alberto's um, class. So what it was, was we made a, bo a book box with an album. So I'm going to show you the box first, and I'll show you. Um... Oh, there she go. There you go. We got Eileen did it for you. <laughs> So this was, um, it looks like a book. So you can see it has the big curve. The chipboards, everybody's chipboard was not quite even. So this really should be even, but mine is kind of way out of whack. But, you know, I can live with it for now. And then I don't know if you can, yeah, you can tell the gold. You can see the gold. This was the tea, tea dye, I believe, of Prima's. <laughs> you tipped the scale, oh my gosh. Carol, you did? <laughs> so um and then this was the inside and we actually and this will be the mini album so we actually built this little box this box that went around we built this box to go inside so you can see that <laughs> you need to see what <laughs> oh because Fran mocked you <laughs> so um, so that was cute. It's a cute little box. I mean, you can put you know, a small gift in there. You could sm put small cards. And, um, yeah, so this is one that we definitely will do in class. I mean, um, he gave us the instructions and stuff. So we definitely will do one of these. Isn't it cool? And then we did the, um, we cut the chipboard to look like fencing. And you can see it's got a lot of gold, a lot of gold in there. So it's really cute, really cute. And then so then the book the book that goes inside is this little chipboard book, which I didn't finish, we just didn't have time. And so what he had us do was tea dye this, and then the way this book goes together was you're supposed to glue it on the mesh part like that, you know, cut it, and then um, put the other part on the mesh part like that. So the binding is the um, the flower part, and then it just goes on and on and on. Did I get to do a Lala craft? No, I didn't get to do the Lala craft. So, um, so that has to be finished. So we did get to do all the ribbon, which was nice. And we just tea stained that. <laughs> so close. <laughs> Jonna thinks she was at 48, Carol? What was that? Oh, 48 pounds. Yeah, my one suitcase was fine. I think it was like 30. My big one was good. My little one was pretty close up there. It was like 47 or 48. <laughs> so, so, but then we got that. And his book is with the um, Timeless Memories of um, Prima. So, and then here it is again. These are um, different ornate little um, metals. These are the metal trinkets and alphabets, they're called. 
So it's just kind of like the other one. I think they have a couple of, it doesn't say, they have a couple of different styles of the metals. So yeah, it's really cute. I thought it would be make that would make a good jewelry piece, wouldn't it, um, Darcy? Well, like we did at Spellbinders. Oh my gosh, wait till I show you that. So again, this one comes with the feathers, like the, all the others, and then a separate chipboard pieces. So this is a piece that's supposed to go in front of. I didn't fit my, finish my front cover, so the front cover was supposed to go there. So that's a chipboard, and also comes with sequins. They all come with sequins. Hi, Ella. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and then again with the roses. So they all the packs have like kind of like high roses that you could put on the outside. And then again, uh, roses to match, flowers to match that. This was the ribbon. And here's my art venture ticket to go in. And so then he did give us the dimensions for our little box. So we will do that during one show. Let me see if he has the cover on here so I can show you. Um... Yeah, can't really see it too well, but but can you see there? Um, let me see if I can hold it here. It has the little chipboard piece with the girl's face on it, and then we put the big flowers that are kind of hard. So it's really cute. So when I get the cover of that done, I'll show you too. Yeah, so feathers for Prima, yeah, is almost in every collection. Yep. Feathers and the gold foil. That's right. So, and then we, in this, and they gave us very generous in this box. They gave us this, the 6x6 six six pad, and they also gave us the 12x12 12 12 pad. And then this was um, the medals that we got. We also got the medals here. And then he gave me an extra one when he signed my book. You'll see that in my book that he signed. <laughs> and then some more medals. So that to finish off the album, which I didn't get a chance to finish. So that was Alberto's class. And then our last class was Frank's class, which we all loved. Oh my gosh. I never went powered through a mini album in three hours. Three hours? Yeah. Three hours as we did in Frank's class. That was whew, hard. <laughs> but it looks beautiful. What was my favorite? My favorite is Finnebar's class and then Frank's class. So as far as mini albums and stuff like that, that was definitely Frank. Oh my gosh, and I have to tell you the funny story with Frank. All right, so let me put this away. So this is Frank's book, and I'm sure you've seen it all over Facebook. It's just like everywhere. You like the paper? Mm-hmm. Oh, that I showed with the banner so far? Yeah, that's the Bella something. And then, of course, Denny, who runs Prima Art Venture, he gave us all each a thank you card. Wasn't that nice? So he handwritten um, one to each of us and thanked us for coming to Prima Art Venture. So that was that was very nice of him. Um, but this was our book. And Frank has come out with a lot of new things for um, this year for Prima. He um, has a new chain, so this is has a gold, a rust, and kind of like a black, I guess it is. It's three different colors, and you get a yard of each. And so, this was the spine, which we um, tea stained all the um, flowers and roses and stuff. And then this was the book, which you've seen everywhere, I'm sure. <laughs> And we put all of these. These are his new pearls. He has a whole little jar of pearls. We didn't get a whole jar, but I did buy a jar of his pearls. And then this is his new little door knocker. Oh, I locked. I glued my in there. Oh, there it goes. So his little door. He loved the colors. And then these are his new little kind of like half test tubes. I forget what they call these. Isn't that cute? So we put that down. You think Pete puts too many flowers for your taste? You don't have to put so many. <laughs> yeah, this is his, um, this one's called Archivist, and his other one was called, um, what was the other one called? Cartographer. 
Yeah. That was your favorite class, Carol? Mm -hmm. It was fast-paced. And he told us in the beginning it was going to be fast-paced, and it was. So we got the leaves, and these little curly cues came in the leaves. And then, of course, these were all the different flowers. So, and then this was a frame. Then we um, sprayed it with the Prima spray. So, and then this is a new chipboard book for um, Prima. So all the chipboard, it was already assembled. Each page is um, a chipboard. And then we decorated the whole inside. So, let me get a piece of, let me see if I have one of these. So I didn't get a chance to put all my, um, my things in here. But this has a pocket. Yeah, the frame is gorgeous. And then we had the flower and the little chipboard piece. And then this is um, a waterfall, which is out of the 4x6 um, cards, which is really nice. So we definitely are going to do a book like this. And I want to do it with the Prima uh, Butterfly Collection. <coughs> so um, we'll definitely do a book like this. As soon as the Prima um, paper comes in and Barry has a paper, we will definitely do... Um, I will do the book, and Ash will probably do a um, box for it to go in. So, so as soon as that comes in, and hopefully it'll be in not too fast, you know, pretty soon, um, we will get that. You like all the lines you've seen from CHA from Prima? Yeah, I do too. I think they were the best this year. And then, um, so they will have a pre-order up, so make sure you go there. This was the class we will definitely do, but we're going to do it with the Butterfly Collection. So, um, the, so they all go up, you know, just like a regular waterfall. And what's nice is he, um, measured this one so that it's super easy. I mean, like I said, we did it in three hours, so. The Echo Park and the Colored Bella you liked, Darcy? Yeah. Annette, you love this one? <laughs> or we're going to do this one, but with the, um, with Jody Lee's paper, the Prima one, the butterfly one. So then this is a spot to put, um, a photo. And then again, this is a pocket here. There's Summerline. I don't remember if I remember that one. And then this one's another pocket. He did put a lot of pockets in here. So there's another pocket there. And then these are cute little waterfall with the ATC card. So that's nice. And I didn't get, I don't think I put all my decorations on. Pretty much all of them, but not all of them. And all my pages, I got a chance to ink them. So that was nice. <laughs> you wish that Graphic Fighter would do something different? Yeah. I think a lot of people have said that. <laughs> yeah they need to do something a little bit different they definitely do and so then this was um a pocket here this is uh, well it's supposed to slide back there there it goes so i'll have to pull that out a little bit but then um so that slides in there like that i don't think i put a pocket i might have put one no sometimes i left i didn't and then this one um folds like this and then like that and the cute little wood piece Paris. Like that. Then there's another pocket here. Then you can still put a photo on the outside here. So we definitely will do a book like this. I think this book is so cute. And then this one, this one open up. Yeah, this one opens. And it also is a pocket here. I never got a chance to see Mark Montano or Andy Skinner. Darcy and uh, John um, and Tracy Winsapful. They, yes, they took a lot of um, demonstrations. So make sure to look at their Ustream because they did do a lot with, um, with those artists. So that's that one. And then again here where you could put photo in there. Like that. Mark was a hoot. I missed it. <laughs> and then here's another pocket. Another pocket page here. In there. Yeah, Darcy was so excited. That's her. She got to hang out with her idol, Andy. And then this one is a, um, you know, flip. So it flips four ways. Just like that. And then I didn't get, I'm probably putting another mat in here so you don't see that. So... So that goes like that, that goes like this, and like that. 
and then a lot of people this was the last page most people didn't get done I got the paper down but I didn't get to get the embellishments down so this is another pocket here and then this is just a mat I think I left a pocket yeah I left, I left a pocket up here um, and then you can see how nice and gold that is we did that with the gold something or other I can't remember the one I showed you earlier what is SDP I'm going to national SDP I don't know <coughs> thank you Eileen didn't turn and ask you did a super super job so we definitely will do a book like this I love this book mine is still kind of I left it in that plastic so it's still even the this part is still kind of damp a little but I just pulled that out of my suitcase just a little while ago so yeah the only thing I have to do is just put my little cards in each pocket otherwise pretty much done so so I'll show you what we got in his class and we got a lot in his class I have to say we got the whole book that we did and we used a lot of the chipboard pieces so these are the um, what does he call these antique cloches I don't know see it there so then and he has um, this one says um, memory and love and treasure that's on the book and then he has another one that says, let's see what it says antiques la vida which I think is the life Come on. and then treasure so they come clear and then you just add the glossy accents with your decorated paper behind it so so we got that in class and then this was um where we pulled our little flowers to go in behind those so this is Frank's line it's called the archivist and this is one of the big flowers that we used and this is and we used almost all of those flowers the flowers that came with the big um, butterflies the two butterflies we used all of those <laughs> and then again he also came with the um, feathers which we didn't use but then the chipboard you can see that and then more flowers only have one butterfly left out of that um, out of that one pack we had the leaves we cut off the leaves for the front and then we even had all this left over after we did the book which is really nice so it's really enough to do another book even because you only needed four pieces so it's like perfect for another book and then of course this is what we decorated the waterfall with the cards and then this is was the small um, the small one that we had that we did the waterfall with <laughs> so so that was that one. Oh, and then let me show you I did buy a jar of his beads so this is his chain and you get six pieces in their yard a piece um, so which is nice so you can see the chain is quite long so that's really nice the chain that we got and then the frame also came with another little mini frame I didn't just get a chance to put mine that's the one that goes on the last page and then this was the jar of beads so you can see all those nice beads <laughs> so I did buy these in the store Come on, there it is. All right, so that is all of Art Venture. Now on to CHA, and I'll have to do it really quick because we only got like 40 minutes left. <coughs> Wish I had a thing a bit. So that's that and that. Let's get this back up here. This here. Oh, I forgot to put all this in there. Mm 
They're talking about art venture in the chat. <laughs> All right, so now on to, well, let me show you the bag real quick. I'll put that back up so I have it here. <coughs> so, Darcy, this was my bag. I did the mermaid um, theme on mine, and, of course, a lot of glitter, <laughs> tons of glitter, and then that has the pocket just like yours. So I had put the flowers and the little circles and just glittered it all up. <laughs> And she's got cute little um, sand dollar in her ear and um, some shells. And then these are all bubbles that were on there. Yeah. You love the pocket? I love the pocket, too. That was, like, perfect. And then I added the seahorse and the little um, star. So that was my bag. But Dawn wanted to see the mermaid or the stamp. No, the steampunk one you wanted to see. So this was the stink punk girl and it says um <laughs> Aww. so that says um and this is her name is emily this one so it says she won't settle for ordinary and so and then these were the other ones of course look at this darcy Ar artie dar is going to flip when she sees this <laughs> oh thank you carol she says Oh, come on focus yeah Darcy's that she'll she's gonna flip you know she loves her little scullies all right I can't get to focus now <laughs> come on there it is yeah she's gonna love that isn't she <laughs> so that was my bag for that all right so now on to CHA so I just have a small bag for CHA because, like I said, um, I couldn't bring all the magazines with me. So um, when Ash um, streams, she has a lot more of the magazines than I did. So let me get that. Oops, hold on. My box is falling. Oops. Go. There we go. One more box here. So this was the box that they had last year. And I was lucky that my girlfriend, June, she doesn't take her boxes. So that's why I get to keep hers. So. All right. So this is CHA. <coughs> and if you've seen my posts. Well, I guess I'll do this one first. Oh, uh, Darcy, look what's in here. <laughs> Darcy um, had given Jim, or Darcy's mom had given Jim a, you know, a thing for your Swiffer so you could just throw it in the wash. So, and I said I wanted one and she made me one. <laughs> so, see, so it goes right onto your Swiffer. You can Swiff it and then throw it right in the wash. Isn't it cute? Make sure you tell your mom I said hi. I'll have to write her a nice thank you little note. <laughs> So that was from Darcy and Jonna's mom for me. Jamie's friend is Emily. Uh, sorry, I have a niece that's name is Emily. <laughs> yes, please, Darcy, do that. Yes, I'm going to write her thank you notes. You'll have to give me her address. So that was from, that was a nice surprise. And then here it was, um... Petaloo, you know, they have their white flowers, and that day that we were doing it, they were using um, Tattered Angels, so we got to spray um, with Tattered Angels. <laughs> what picture is she going to post? Yeah, Maggie will post a picture. She's going to post a picture. I don't know what, though. So, and then we've got a graphic 45 button. And then, of course, Ash and I were going crazy because we had to thank Barry for getting us in. You know, Barry was quick because the Spellbinders class sold out so fast. And Barry got us um, in there. And so we were really happy because we got to get the die. 
So this is the ballerina. Let me see. We'll fluff her up. She's kind of a little bendy. <laughs> So she balances like that. See, she's all glitter. And then fluff up her skirt. So yeah, so if it wasn't for Barry, we wouldn't be able to get the, the dye. And I hope you guys enjoyed all our pictures from there, from Carol and Ash and I, which again, we wouldn't be able to do without scrap a dab -a Your son-in-law drew a steampunk buffalo. Wow, really? And fainted free? That was nice for Christmas. So then she came out pretty. And then, of course, we glittered her all up with glass glitter. So, of course, my um, other niece is having a baby, and she wants that. But it comes with a cute little baby um, ballerina. Cute little baby girl ballerina. And that was from Spellbinders. So that was that. It's called The Gilded Life. They have a whole section that's called The Gilded Life. And it has a lot of um, like shabby chic and vintage. Um. <laughs> what was that? Um, and then we made this bracelet also. So, although they do need to make the bracelets a lot bigger because half of us couldn't get our hand in there. Like, I could barely almost get my hand in there <laughs> like <ugh. laughs> I'm choking myself <laughs> almost in there but not quite and the, isn't that cute so we wrapped what it is it's a metal piece let me get some black here there it goes and we um added glued the beads down first let's see there it is nope and then you wrap the um seam binding Mom, there it is. Don't show you that, Barry. <laughs> she wants it all. Oh, my gosh. All the jewels and stuff that they have. It was really pretty. So that was pretty easy to make. I mean, just took time wrapping it. So we wrapped it one way, and then we wrapped it another way. <clears throat> and then um, this is the Gilded Life. So I'll show you real quick. Look at that crown. That was the crown that I had on if you saw me at Facebook. It really didn't show up too well because I was afraid I was going to drop it. So I was like holding my head so still. <laughs> um, so, and that, they'll have this die out soon. I forget when she said. Maybe next month or something it's coming out. I don't remember. Yep, they have matching dies to cover up their basil. I'll have to show you that. <clears throat> So now you can make all these beautiful um, jewelry pieces here and put in here the beads. Like, um, where's my piece? Jonna and Darcy had made it. And then I was like, oh my gosh, I want to make one. And then um, we got the chance to do it. So I need something black. So let's see. There you go. So you can see... Yeah, so you can see on the back, this is the color, the original color, like that. And then when you sand it, you get down to like a gold and then like a rose gold. So, it's really nice. Um, then we also sanded the middle piece there. That was gold foil, and then we just sanded it. And then we added the little beads and then the clasp, uh, the um, acrylic. So, isn't that pretty? There it goes. Well, the little jewels inside are so pretty. There they go. You like that, Ella? Aren't they pretty? And then we each got a um, seam binding to wear. So I really like that. So definitely some jewelry making maybe in the future. So here's some more of these. There's one with the little um, angel and some hearts. Let's go through this real quick. Um, oh, here's all their beads. Look away, Barry. <laughs> Look away. Um, so here's the um, rhinestones that we use for the um, the um, the bracelet, and then it comes with a smaller pearl, and then even a smaller rhinestone. Mm -hmm. And they come with this, all different kinds of. If you love, and this is all their glass glitter. 
this is all their laces their laces are really pretty so this one is pretty if you just wanted to put something really quick around your neck yep and then these are their new dyes this is the ballerina dye which they will get um, um barry said they'll get them in right away so for any of you girls who want the ballerina dyes it should be in soon and then here's some more dyes with their flowers and leaves and here's the one that he used for the crown so that's this one here so it's like jim did his crown very similar so those are all the different ones so i'll show you those real quick and more jewelry making on that side and then here, here is the pendant that we did that one The ballerinas because we were in class carol and they said that they're available now so yeah you did crowns out of punches last year i remember for your little kitty <laughs> look how cute that is with the little vial and then they put the um what they did was they took the glass glit um glitter and took it out of their little vial and then added the pearls mm -hmm. Now you want the crown banner die? <laughs> yep, and then some more embossing folders. So, and they have a new machine. I don't know where the. I think I have it in here somewhere. Their spellbinders machine. I don't think it's supposed to come out until like June. It's super super heavy. I mean, I could not lift it myself. Um. So that was that. And I broke my watch. I have to get that fixed. While I was out there, I lost a little piece, the clip part piece. Yeah, send Carol a list for those of you who want the ballerina um, dies. And this way they'll know how, much, how many to order. So, what do I say? I thought I had my spellbinder die thing here. Maybe it'll come to me. They did give us some um, double sided tape. That was nice. And then this is the Robin's Nest, which I don't know if I got there or not. Oh, oh, here's me and Ash. <laughs> This is a picture like last year, Jerry Ann and I did this picture and we got to hold up the CHA letters and stuff. Um, they didn't have that this year. Come on, focus. Focus. Ugh. Oh my gosh, what a pain. <laughs> oh, there we are. So that's Ash and I. Oh, she's so tall. Oh my gosh, she's tall. <laughs> I'm so short. Carol and I, we were like little midgets next to her. So then this was our make and take. This was my make and take at Faber Castell. So we got to use the gelatos and the glass beads. So this was my make and take. The butterfly. And this is the glass beads with the um, glitter in it. And then this was their little liquid pearl pen, which I love because you don't have to worry about tapping down the, um, they make perfect, even as a little point settles down into, um, the little circles. So that was cute to make. It took a long time to dry because, of course, I didn't do it with the heat gun because we would keep moving. But thanks. Thanks, Eileen. Yeah, so I like that. And this is the Faber-Castell's new, um, metallics paste. It's like a texture paste. So it's like silver... <clears throat> there you can see it it's like a silver this one I mixed it a little bit with silver and gold mm -hmm. and we did that with Lamore Dawn Lamore was the one showing us how to do that and it was um and I it was a nice tip that I either I forget or I didn't know if I knew but when you put your gelatos down instead of going straight up and down trying to blend it it's super hard if you just take your finger and just go in a circle it was just so easy to blend um yeah she's probably probably about as tall as you i think <laughs> so that was fun that was fun to do and then we did a bow bunny uh make and take so <clears throat> and my, all my pearls got squished these were in the shape of hearts <laughs> and of course they didn't this one turned out okay but the other ones got all squished but this is um bow bunny's um glitter paste and then this is their new, they have some new, um, I guess, laser tags, which is nice. Let's see if I can lift this up so I could show you. 
uh, underneath. This is their new gold foil um, rub ons which are really pretty. Hi, Flutterby. Yes, the paste is really pretty. That's this one, the glittery. But it's just like um, the others, pretty much. And then um, we did the doily, and then we made some beads there. So, and then we did some spray. We did use some of their spray. Really not too much shimmer. It looks like a silvery color. So, <laughs> yeah, it's for a stencil. Yep, that would be cute for a stencil, right, Heather? So that was our cute little make and take from Bow Bunny. And then they gave us this film strip that you just peel it back, but doesn't really go too well with this. So I might put it on the inside or probably save it. So, yeah, work in circles. That was the best way. Yep. Oh, and this is, we got um, from um, Spellbinders. They came out with the fringe die. So you know how you use Martha's scissors to cut? Well, now they have a die. So this is the fringe die, which is nice because you could twist it all up for parties. And then they gave us a little card so I could show you what it looks like. So this is the one that I really twisted all up. Twist it up and then you can make a circle and hook it on to each other. And then it makes like a little band. Put like napkins in there. So this is what it looks like. Picture of it? Yeah. So see here where they use the fringe? They use the fringe there and this on the card here. Yeah, you are, Bean. <laughs> We've gotten it used to be 5'10", but now you shrunk down to 5'9". <laughs> yes, foils are big this year, Ella. The gold foil, yep. Actually, Heidi Swap came out with a machine. It's called the Mink, M-I-N-C. And so it works by putting, I have it here to show you, too. When I get to it, I'll show you. <clears throat> then we did this at um, Avery... Ellie Ever Ella Avery, something like that. Um, so we they die cut this, we stamped this, and die cut it out, and then it was a bag of popcorn, which I already ate on the plane home. <laughs> Yum! <laughs> and that little stamp and stuff. You want the mink, Jenny? Oh my gosh, you do! Um, and then this is um, some tape that we got from the little bee, which I'll give away next week. So I have two of those to give away. So remember, if you um, comment on my blog, um, just leave a comment there, and next week I will put uh, pull a winner. So that's that. Oh, these are some of the new Prima stamps. I love these. The little bee and the butterfly. I bought those, though, at the store. And then this is Tim's new shadow. Um, oh, did I bring that up? I oh, I brought it up. Oh, I don't think I did bring up his little flowers. Darn all right, so this is um, the shadow press, and I, I'll have to show it to you. I thought I brought the little bag up here to show you, but I don't see it. So I might have to show you this next week. But um, you could go to Ranger and look at the new shadow press. So what it is is you put this down, and then you put a roller. You roll over the paint, and it leaves a shadow. Yeah. Now that you want, Lorraine? <laughs> So this is um, some wire that we got from Spellbinders. Oh my gosh, this is what I want. I want this. This is the Big Shot Plus. Oh my gosh, it's huge. It puts eight, eight and a half by 11 folders in here. If I get this, I'm selling all my cuddle bugs. I have like three cuddle bugs. I have an Anna one, which is gold. I have a pink one that I got from Australia. And I have the regular green one. <laughs> Oh, Jenny, can you put my blog up? So this way, if they can make sure they can leave a comment to win some stuff next week. Please. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Isn't that nice, Heather? Oh, my gosh. I want that. And so any of you who know who Teresa already makes, you know, the big, wide cuddle bug. She has um, embossing folders. I don't know. She has like five or six embossing folders. Thanks, Jen. Thanks, Dawn. Um, so make sure to leave a comment. And next week, I will put, we'll um, draw some prizes from some of the stuff that I got. So yeah, I definitely want that. And they also made this, they also made the longer extended platform, the magnetic. So they have the shorter one, and now they have the long one. Super long. And then they have another tool, just like Spellbinders came out, you know, to um, go over. What is the price point? I think uh, Carol could tell you. I'm not really sure. 
You want one too, Mitz? I uh, me too. I want one too. <laughs> and then the nice thing about um, oh, and here you know Tim came out with some new punches, so that's new. It has a rubber grip, which is really nice. So you can grip it. You can either grip it with your thumb like that, or you could grip it with your palm like that. For me, I have to grip it with two thumbs like that to um, push it down. So just post on the blog. I think I have the. I think my own. I had an update my blog, so just put it on the the one that's up there. I think it's try it on Tuesday. Just leave it there, and I'll count your name um, in it. And then for those of you who watch the recording. Just um, go to my blog, Scraps to Beauty, by Zandra.blogspot.com. I also will leave a um, link in the video underneath, so in case you um, didn't get it. So, yeah, I definitely want the punches. Oh, my gosh. And then you have to see the little... I wish I would have brought the bag up here. I can't believe I left it downstairs. Anyway, this is exciting. Um, you know how um, you have the clear embossing plates for your machines any of your machines the cuddle bug the big kick and you know you drop you put it somewhere and you're they're clear so you can't really see it so they came out with color cutting pads oh my gosh so the, they have pink purple and the aqua so now you'll be able to find your cutting pads everywhere wherever you want what happened with the bag of the bag of is still around Timmy's punches, yeah, he's got uh, quite a few. One of them, well, these are the only three I saw. I think he also has a fern leaf. This is the distressed little banner. So you can see the edges are have like little, you know, distress marks in it. It's got the star. I think he has a heart. I think I might have a picture of it to show you later on. But aren't these cool? Oh, my gosh. I love these colored cutting pads. I'll be like sorry to see them all like you know embossed and stuff. <laughs> yeah, Tim uses his vagabond all the time. He used it for all his demonstrations. I don't think there's anything wrong with the vagabond. Is there something wrong with it? Who said there's something wrong with it? They really they all broke mine is oh, thank goodness let me knock on wood somewhere because my vagabond has not. So I've been really good with that. So that was something new. And of course, like I said, the foil. Foil is everywhere. Also, um, they also, Deco Art came out with a foil machine also. So that was cool. So this is what the foil is. You, this has to be on a laser cut. Um, so you, you know, put, print whatever you want, laser cut. And then what you do is you put the gold foil with the gold facing up not the, not facing down because what you see here <clears throat> is what you want to see what's facing up so the gold goes on top with the shiny on top and then you pass it through the machine and then it prints wherever the laser printer was that's where it prints the new spellbinders machine with all the metal parts yes no plastic Yes, it's strong enough to last, Heather, but here it is. This is the new Spellbinders machine, and I cannot lift it. It is way, way too heavy for me. And it says not available until summer 2015. It ha They told us it was a laser printer, Jenny. That's the way I understood it. It has to be from the toner from a laser printer. Yeah. Yep, it has to have a toner from a laser printer or a copy machine. Uh, I didn't. I wasn't sure about the copy machine, but this is super, super heavy. Yeah, it's nice that it has all the metal and stuff, but wherever you're going to put it, you're not taking that to a crop or anywhere like that. That's where it's going to stay. And Spellbinders now are coming out with the steel ruled dies, just like Sizzix. You know the big, thicker ones. They also were coming out with their own steel rule dies. So how would the average crafter use it? This, you can use it. It's just that you have to keep it, you know, stationary. It has to be in your work area. You're not going to be lifting that going here and there. So, and it does have an eight and a half inch wide cutting. It's very easy to use, but it is heavy. Super heavy. 
and for me with my arthritis I cannot I cannot lift it at all and um Ash had a yeah it's not portable right Carol not portable but if you're happy with it just being stationary then you know it, also tonic tonic also is coming out with the machine and what I like about tonic's machine it's all metal also inside but they designed the woman she designed it so it has a flat see how this is flat but this curves down she designed it so it's perfectly flat and has a big wide section here and so what you could do is you could take your cutting pads and lay it on top of the machine so you have a place to place your cutting pads which I thought was genius really <laughs> so your grand caliber broke all oh, because all plastic well how they're looking to the tonic too because I did she seemed like she could lift the tonic pretty easy where they weren't lifting the spellbinders at all not even the guys that I saw but the tonic is supposedly made out of all metals and I like that it has that flat platform that you can put all your you know when you take out your thing to un you know to unsandwich it you can lay it right on top of the machine so yeah you love the tonic machine Annette yeah so make sure you know if you're looking into this make sure you look into the tonic too so oh once linda still here i just picked this up because she loves owls <laughs> where's linda she loves owls so i brought just so she could see these are all done with leaves isn't it cute <laughs> so that was just for linda and then these are of course you know any of you who like um diane revely's um stamps these are her new stamps So there's these. I love the legs popping out of her head. <laughs> so those are all Diane's new stamps, which I'm sure you've seen on Facebook and stuff. There. And that one. And there. And there. And that one. And then who's this one? Brett Waldy, Waldy. Not sure if I said that right. He came up. Uh, What's the Stampers Anonymous? So they have the chef, which is pretty cool, right? They have the cat <laughs> with the little top hat. That's a good one for Jim. And then this next page, um, it's just a little too gory for me, but I'm sure Catherine loves this one. <laughs> the zombie. <laughs> That's cute again i really dig you i love you for your brains you look delicious which <laughs> that looks ew <laughs> i don't like that at all yeah it's kind of scary this one is cute for jim's gentleman crafter he'd love that and i did love the steampunk girls this is steampunk yeah zombies are in lorraine <laughs> oh. um and this is the steampunk girls you have to get that one for your daughter, Linda. <laughs> yeah, so so that's that one. And then this is Diane uh, Weekly. Wakely. I love her little birds. Aren't they cute? I love her birds. And then and these are her new stamps. I love the faces. And this is how she colored those. And then look at the owl. Isn't that cute? The little owl and then the little lovebirds and the canary and then she has also girls so that's what those look like you love the zombies Fran <laughs> you and Catherine then you need to get that stamp set for your for yourselves <laughs> so and then these are more tags so she has a really cute I, th I think it's her and then she did a lot of um make and takes so make and takes she did a lot of um, techniques and stuff but she has some really pretty stamps out too you love the new diane stamps <laughs> she was great wasn't she <laughs> darcy says looks like puke on a page <laughs> so there's that i love that with the little jar look carol another jar <laughs> and she did that and they come out with something called magic 
card. I think it's called Magic Card. And that's what this is made out of. And it's so it's thin, but it feel, has the thickness. It feels like the thickness and hardness of chipboard. So that's something we'll have to play with. The Magic Mesh. I think it's called, not Magic Mesh. Magic, I think it's in here. I'll have to show it to you. The jar, that's for Carol. <laughs> Yeah, so then she has little stencils just for cards. Hi, CB. Oh, that's okay. We're just almost finished. We're just going through some of the CHA stuff now. So here it is. It's called Magic Met uh, Mini Sets. So she has this with the coffee. Look, Carol, coffee. <laughs> um, and then it's called Magic Map Board. That's what it's called. So then you can punch it out yourself and... It's really super strong but thin, so it doesn't leave your cards heavy or anything. So she made some cute little cards. So. <laughs> and then this was Kaiser Craft. We did like some of their stuff. Um, this was some new rollers. That was like the very first thing we saw. The new rolling um, for mixed media. And then these are some new Spectrum um, Aqua. They're like water pens. So that's something we might give a try. We'll see. So yeah, they're called Spectrum Aqua. So there's that. So we're getting down towards the end. Fab Scraps. So if you saw um, the very first picture we took with the half address forms, that was this company, Fab Scraps, that we posted as soon as the first day that we got there, Friday. So here's the little baby line. Somebody would say, ask me about that. Precious Bunny with the cute little teddy bear. So that was Royal Baby. And then they have this one, Elegant Chic. Pink, a lot of pink. Yeah, Kaiser Craft. We like Kaiser Craft. They had a lot of uh, nice ones. They also have a pet line, too. Kaiser Craft this time around. These are seashells. It's odd for me to see the seashells in pink and then again in blue. It's weird. I can see the blue, but I don't know. I'm a hard time with that pink. <laughs> and then this was Travel, which had Paris in there. And some chipboard. And then this is the blue one with the little blue birds. You can see there. Kind of looks like China, you know. And then what else do they have? Their charms. You know, we've had some of their charms. Fab Scratch charms. There's that. More charms. There's your stick pins, Heather. <laughs> and they also have some stencils, too. So, or let's see, what do we got here? This was a cute little thing. This was called um, Cricut Stickers. But what it is, it's um, like a copper wire. And then you attach these little, kind of like diamond things. And they light up. So it comes with a battery. And you can use them for like cards. And they last, I forget how long she said one card. I think she said the card will last. You love the head, stick pins? Yeah, that's good. Uh, I think she said the card depends on the battery. The lights last forever, but you got to replace the battery. <clears throat> so that was fun. All right, so this is Tim. So let's do that. Yep, we're down towards the end. So let's get these last two out. Oh, I'm so mad I didn't bring Tim's stuff up. I'll have to post it on. Maybe I'll post it on Scrapper Dabba Doo Facebook. Oh, I left it downstairs. Okay. So let's go over these just real quick. So I'll show you some of Tim's. Um, oh, these are the birds. I love these birds. The Stampers Anonymous. Look at that cute little bird. <laughs> Aren't they cute? <laughs> so, and the butterfly. Oh, and I love these, the fashion girls. So here are some fashion girls, too. Is who on? Diane will be on at me, 10 o'clock. Okay, so I'll get off quick. 
Here's coffee. Hey, Carol. Are you drinking coffee now? There's Tim's new coffee mug and like his Starbucks coffee. So, you've seen these stamp for anonymous. So, I really want to show you is the dies. The other one thing that I must have, and of course, this is Tim's new um, stencils. He came out with these here, these three, these three, and these. The coffee dye, yeah, a lot of coffee dyes is awesome. So, so that's Tim's. Oh, I did want to show you one thing. Let's see if it's in here. They did come out with these extra big, um, oh, we came out with these cute little ones. So now you can buy them in only fours if you want. She's always drinking, Carol says she's always drinking coffee. She's drinking coffee. <laughs> I love the little teddy bear. He's got his new baby line. And then this stamp here. Do you see this one that's called Botanical Sketch? This one? It all it is big. I mean it's really big. Like I want to say like that. But when you buy this stamp set, he also Yes, go ahead, Eileen. You can post Diane's channel. Um he also includes the acrylic block with this. So you might see it's a little more expensive. Usually the Stampers Anonymous is like $21.99. I think this one's like $25.99. So it comes, which is nice. So it already comes with the acrylic block. I'll have to check that one out too. Let me just bookmark it myself. All right, hold on. Oh, I have to do my chat back now. <laughs> hold on. Ugh. There we go. Oh, hold on. I have to move my thing here. Okay. So, so that's um, one thing to look for. So, if you're interested in that stop that stamp, it does come with the acrylic block. So, let's see here. What do I want to show you in this magazine? Really quick. Oh, these are all his new um, punches. Here's his punches. Right here. So he's got 4, 5, 9, 13, 17, 21, 21 new ones. And his embossing folders. Let's see what else he's got new. New, new, new. He came out with words. So um, just like at Christmas time. Let's see if it it's in here. He's come out with words. Here they are. So he's got one that says adventure words, celebration. So those are really cool. We're hoping to get those and work with them. <laughs> and then my last thing I want to show you is what I really love that that was there and that I really want are these dies, the tonic dies. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. So I'll show that real quick and then we'll be off. So this one is comes with um, the die. And a cuddle bug, um, you know, like an embossing folder. Shoot, I lost my thing is like not. And then, um, so they have plenty of dies. Uh oh, hold on. I see Diana's on. I have to shut her off just for a second. There we go. Oh, my darn thing. <laughs> hold on. Ah. All right. So what I wanted to show you, I mean, they have tons of dies. I mean, I just loved all the dies. But the ones that I really loved were these. And these are the ladies. And they come also with a little stamp that has the eye, the nose, and the mouth. So that's really nice. But, you know, you can see, too, check Scrabadabadoo um, Ustream channel. We did, po we did do a lot of videos on these. Um... And again, I want to thank Barry and Carol for, without them, I would not be able to go to CHA and bring you all those good goodies. So, any questions next week, um, leave a comment on my blog, um, and I will um, we'll have some prizes to give away. So, I had a really great time. It was great to spend some time with Ash, and my first time really meeting her, and Carol again, love that. We really missed Barry a lot. So I hope next year Barry will be able to go. Any questions? 
So next week we'll do the prizes and also we will try to finish up, we probably won't be able to finish up the um, Altitude, the, bo the book that we started before I left. Oh, Tim's got little trophies coming out too. They were very cute. <coughs> yes, thanks to Barry and Carol because without them you would not get all these good sneak peeks. <laughs> yes, and don't forget to leave a comment on my blog, Scraps of Beauty by Zandra. And next week we'll have some fun in the beginning, drawings for prizes. And then we will try to f continue with the book. I think we'll need one more class after that to finish the book. So, um, any other questions? No? Okay. So I hope you had fun watching um, all the stuff that we brought to you. I hope you had fun watching this tonight. And um, I know Catherine's on. Kathy hopefully will be back on Friday. I saw she's going to start streaming again on Friday. So um, have a good weekend. I'm sure I'll run into you guys. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome, everyone. <laughs> so I will see you. Um, I'll see you next week. Okay, bye.